Manisha Hassan. Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Esfahan. Welcome. We are taking a very short hiatus and now we are back with a special episode um, to telling you uh, get to know us a little better. We're very excited to answer the questions that some of our wonderful viewers have sent to us. Oh my god, such good question. I love this question. Beautiful though. question. Thank you very Truly. much. Truly. Instagram. Instagram. Oh no, um, maybe um, fa um, the WhatsApp. Facebook. WhatsApp. No, I don't have Facebook anymore. Oh, tell you. Tell you. Oh, you have Netflix? I do have Netflix. But, oh, first question is for me. Oh, okay. It's saying, dear Mr. S. Fahani, why are you working with this annoying, stupid woman? I'm working on another show because I very doubt somebody called me annoying and stupid. No, this is for sure talking about this show. Of course, we have our differences sometimes, mm -hmm. but Most I think she time. is an extremely... Um, She's got a lot of it. Uh, she's got a. She makes good tea. I have something to say to the person who is um, insulting me to Mr. Esfahani. Uh, you can go f yourself, okay? okay? Now do uh, one of my questions. Um, Miss Manager, I love your work. You are so beautiful. Thank you, honey. Mm, uh, why you don't marry Israel? Uh, guys, let's not get questions like that. Ah! No, uh, uh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, you should be very happy. This was disgusting no, question. Not. What is your morning routine? Oh, lovely question. Go ahead, Esfani June. I wake up and I scream because my neck is hurting from sleeping in a terrible, weird position. Then I take two Advil drink scalding hot tea and then go out my uh, morning routine is uh, very simple I wake up to the sunrise and i do a two hour meditation i have this with the hot lemon water and we talk for two and a half hour there's rumi ferdosi depending on my mood sometimes chayon so i should go shopping you do this every single day yes let me tell you something, okay? You might not always agree with us. You might not always like what we're doing. But the fact, ah! oh, I'm sorry. I think they escaped from this plant. This is much better. This is much ah! No. Ah sorry. I thought it was a spider. Dear Mr. Esfahani and manager, I am an aspiring Iranian singer. How can I get my parents to stop telling me to be doctor? Personally, I think you should listen to your parents and become a doctor you're never going to be Darius, Abby, Gugus you're not going to be that what do you want to be? huh? if you can't be one of the old school Iranians Iranian from singers, the 70s who are you going to be? don't why are they doing it? or you can be a doctor and still singing ah uh, here's an example doctor singing exactly Masala, I'm a doctor you're yes. a patient okay. I go hello how are you hello how are you your cancer has come back your cancer has come back Avoy, Avoy, I have cancer again Avoy. have you ever been in love that's a nice question have you it's so <laughs> I will never forget her. I met her one day when I was watching in the beach, picking up shells on the ground. And she said, excuse me, you are trespassing. Then I ran away, but I never forgot about her. This is someone you love? Yes. He never been in love. Okay, fine. I've never been in love, but I've heard about it once. Okay, now me. Never forget the first time I am watching the movie Gone with the Wind in Clark Gable, Red Butler, he is watching on the screen. See, this man is good enough for me. Red Butler, Clark Gable. Ah, uh -huh. often you hear that, folks? The only man that's good enough for her has yes. been dead for over 40 years. He's been dead. At least he existed. Are you saying that I'm Shh, gone with the wind? The only gone with the wind I know is when you fart and I walk out. How dare you accuse me of something like this? Oh, come on, fart. Anybody farts? No, never fart in my life, Esfahani. Shh, that explains a lot, Ed. 
Fox farting is just like peeing and pooping. Everybody does it. You are disgusting, everybody!